Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about the most overpopulated countries in the world. Using population density statistics, we have compiled a list of the 10 most overpopulated countries in the world. Let's go! 10th place, Indonesia. Indonesia is home to 273 million people who speak 720 languages. Indonesia ranks for in terms of population after India, China and the United States. The population density is 143 people per square kilometers. At the same time, half of the population lives on one small island, the island of Java. The birth rate in this country is constantly increased. Ninth place, China. China is one of the most populated countries in the world. Nearly one and a half billion people live on a gigantic area. The population density is 146 people per square kilometer. Most of the people live in the east of the country. Chinese civilization in very ancient originated several thousand years ago. Despite all sorts of reforms to slow down the birth rate. The problem of our population still remains one of the main ones in the country. 8th place, Nigeria. Nigeria suffers greatly from a surplus of people. There are 206 million people in Nigeria. The average birth rate is almost 5 girls per woman. Since Nigeria has very poor medicine, the average life expectancy is 47 years. Despite this, every year the country's population grows by 2% a year. 7th place, Pakistan. Pakistan is a country of the world with a rapidly growing population. This small country is home to 220 million inhabitants. The most ancient known civilization originated in the territories of modern Pakistan. The capital of Pakistan, the city of Islamabad, ranks second among the most beautiful capitals in the world. Sixth place, India. The population of India is 1 billion and 400 million people. The high birth rate in India is not regulated by any laws. So India should overtake China in terms of the number of inhabitants this year. 70% of Indians live in rural areas. Fifth place, Rwanda. Rwanda is a tiny African country located in the very central of Africa. Despite this, 11 million people live there, which puts it in the middle of our rank. Rwanda is a very poor country with poor healthcare, poor quality of education and low life expectancy. Fourth place, South Korea. South Korea is a small country, smaller than the state of New York. But at the same time, 50 million people live in South Korea. Despite the small size of the country, South Korea has a lot of cities and agriculture fields. Despite overcrowding, South Korea ranked 23rd in the ranking of the best country to live in. Third place, Taiwan. Taiwan is an island and a partially recognized state. Taiwan is not officially recognized by China as a separate state. 23 million people live in a tiny territory of Taiwan. By the way, military service in Taiwan is mandatory. Boys, men and women serve. Population growth is 0.2% per year. Second place, Bangladesh. Bangladesh is an extremely overpopulated country. 170 million people live in a small area the size of the state of New York. It's just amazing. 
half of the country's population is made up of people under the age of 25. At the same time, life expectancy in the country is 70 years. Annual population growth is one and a half percent per year. First place, Singapore. Singapore is a tiny state that covers an area of only 700 square kilometers. This microstate is located on 63 islands, but the main population lives on an island called Singapore. The population of Singapore is 6 million people. The country uses land reclamation technologies, thanks to which the area of the state has been increased by 15%. Singaporeans are a very healthy nation. Singapore is one of the most developed countries on the planet. Singapore has very high fines. Singapore is very clean. There is no dirt or slums.